What's up guys, Super Golden Key here, coming at you with another LEGO figure review. So today we're going to be taking a look at my custom LEGO G1 Optimus Prime. Now I am pretty proud of how this thing turned out. Um, I think the vehicle mode looks good. The robot mode looks good. Um, I built a little trailer for him, which I think turned out pretty well as well. You know, turned out as good as it can for a big gray box. So, so you want to remove this. The trailer just attaches in this little hole there in the back you just put in there. You want to take that out. And here's the truck mode on its own pretty good um, you can kind of see the head there in the back but there was really no fixing that it's just kind of the way it turned out but it's not that big of a deal yeah. so uh, I guess let's get on to the transformation since posability isn't really a factor considering it's a truck for transformation you're gonna to want to take the feet and lift them up like that you're going to want to take the waist, move it like that. Then you're going to want to uh, straighten that out. You're going to want to untab the arms from the bottom of the cab there, like that. And then bring that outwards, like that. And then rotate the arms, or you want to rotate it like that, no, and keep it like that, there's one side, and you're going to want to do the same to the other side, untab here, whoops, that came off, so you want to get arm out, rotate bicep, like that, like that, Okay, then you are going to want to go to the waist, lift these up, and you are going to want to rotate, oh, you're going to want to rotate the legs like that. Get those out of the way there. Then you're going to want to take the wheels and flip them, nope, you don't want to pop them off. You want to take and flip them back to the other side, like so. Then you are going to want to take the legs, move, oops, move them back, like, now oh, come on here. Take the legs, move them backwards like that. And like that, then you're going to want to take the waist and take this part right here and just tab it into the waist section right there. You get that all nice like, then close it up. Then you're going to want to go to the back here, rotate this and push it up like that. Same on this side, just get those nice like that. Then you are going to want to go to the top here. Now this part is kind of finicky. You're going to want to lift this up like that. Rotate it down a bit. And then rotate this part. And then just try to get this out of the way like that. Rotate it like that. And you're going to want to rotate both of these parts at the same time. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. Get in there, you freak. You son of a... Oh, man. Flipping kill. I'm going to murder you. 
So eventually, through enough finagling, you're going to get it like that. Then, you're just going to rotate it back, get the head into place there, just get it situated there, flip the antennae, ear things, whatever they're called, up like that. Get this all straightened out, and there you have him in his robot mode. Now, I really like the robot mode. I think this turned out really nice. I like the proportions, I like the way oh, it turned out. The back is a little messy, but other than that, I think it looks pretty good. So the articulation is pretty nice as well. So the head can rotate. The head can rotate. Son of a the head can rotate side to side, like so. The arms can move out, and forwards, and also on a bit of a butterfly joint. The elbows are on a ball joint, so they can bend in about that far, and they can rotate. Uh, I like how the waist turned out, so you can flip this up to get some leg rotation. Um, not a super high kick, but, I mean, it's as good as it's gonna get. The legs can move out that far, and they can not really move back due to the kibble up there. The knees can rotate there, and then they can also bend. Again, not that much, but that's to be expected. And the feet can move down, and they can pivot a small amount. So the articulation is pretty decent on this guy. Nothing too span... span... what's wrong with me? So that's pretty much it for the articulation on this guy. Nothing too fantastic, but it's enough to get the job done. Now we can get on to his accessories, which are stored in his trailer. So I'm going to open that up and just get everything out of there. Close it back up. So, we have this little uh, thing right here. So this is what's used to have him hold it. So here he has his uh, gun. I think it's pretty accurate interpretation of his G1 gun, for the size at least. So I'm going to plug that onto that, and then take it and plug it into the bottom of his arm there. Like that, and you can get him to hold his gun. Like that, technically. And then, for his axe, you are going to want to get that off, and take this, fold that up, and then plug that in right there. Now he's holding his axe, which looks pretty cool, I think. So, overall, I think this figure is pretty good, except for some minor stability issues, but it looks... I think I think it's one of the best things that I've made. That's stupid. Blimey,